Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Free NHL Picks Frolic Edition from PayPal Picks on Patreon. You go to a Patreon there, set yourself up with uh, the Patreon app, go to PayPal, pick the $25 tier. I give you a free month free. Just like that. And you all like it? Don't do it. Just stop anytime. So it'd be completely free for you. Or you can just keep on doing it like most people do. You can do that too. Okay. I had a letter. I have a letter here from uh, Thelma Swanmer. Swan, Swamner? Swamner. If I said that wrong, I apologize. Thelma Swamner. She writes, I have a lot of time, uh, I don't have much time, and your videos can go very long, and uh, I would like if you could make it so you could do your picks first and then talk about them afterwards. Well, Thelma, that's, we love your letters, by the way. Send your letters. Guido goes down to the mailroom every morning, picks up your letters, brings them up, pours them on the letter table. That's, that's the sacks. That's Guido. That's what he looks like. Anyways, pours them on the letter table. We all do the Perlo dance all around the letters. That's Helen, Caroline, and all of everybody. Everybody, you do it like that. Yeah, excellent. Good job. Hockey News Reports, you nail, you're getting so good. Hockey News Reports comes to my, uh, I do a show every day. A, a program every day from three to five Eastern on this channel. And we do picks and have fun and talk about hockey and all that. He comes on every day and he's been practicing the pearl of dance. And he's almost got it down, I think. Okay. So good idea. We'll do that from now on. I'll do the picks right away. I'll tell you what my quick picks are and then we'll talk about each one. And we'll talk about what we did last night too. What we did for our picks from before. So, real quick, you got to write them down quick. Wild ML over five and a half. Vegas ML over five and a half. Oilers in reg over six and a half. Um, what the heck was that? Avalanche in reg over five and a half. And Sharks ML over five and a half. Okay, let's get to our picks from tonight or last night. What time is it now? It is. What day is it today? You gotta ask the day. March 11 today. So for March 11, we'll do our picks from yesterday. We'll see how we did, and then I'll go over these picks again and uh, why I picked them and stuff like that. So you have no complaints now, people. You can just come on here, watch the first couple minutes, write down your picks, and then go on from there. If you want to hear how we came to those picks and you want to learn more about how I do capping. If you want to be, if you're a great capper and you want my leans and the reasons why, and learning, that's what this is all about. We can grow as cappers by this. If you go to my Patreon app, I give an analysis for every uh, every over under and every line, every side of every game every day, and we nail it at about sixty five percent on all the picks regardless if i'm huge on them or not that's pretty darn good if you ask me i would say uh okay so let's get to uh yes last night's games right all right we got that's not it that's not it scores let's go to scores first of all there's a game on right now okay bruins versus rangers uh, I had Rangers, uh, for small, but I had bigger on the under here. I liked the under and we got it. We hit the under. Um, I watched that game. I actually did that game, uh, as an, an analyst for, uh, per our John from off the wall hockey. Check that channel out off the wall hockey. Uh, he is fantastic. He's he's a great play-by-play uh, -play guy. Um, and I'm very honored to be able to do an, uh, analyst work with him on occasion. 
Uh, Penguins versus Sabres. We had Penguins in reg. I so wanted to PL this that I wish I did, but I did it. You know, you always want to say that, right? Uh, but we also had the over. So we, we did very well on this one. Islanders versus Devils on the video I did. We had the over on this. So if you would listen to my video yesterday, had the over. For some reason, I don't know why on Patreon, the line moved to five and a half and I went under. I didn't get it, but I had big on the Islanders in regulation. Hit on that. Capitals Flyers, my big bet was uh, the over and uh, Capitals ML. So we did well on that. Hurricanes had Hurricanes PL. This was my bet of the night. I love this play. And we also had over five and a half. I loved it. It was large, large pearls for this game nailed them both this one i didn't know what to do i thought when i found out mers lickens was in i put a small bet on the blue jackets ml they were up all game and then they blew it in the five at the uh, they blew it in the third period i think they were up three nothing and then it was four two and then the blue jackets came back in the end I think Tortorella's job could be in trouble there. Uh, you can't have teams cave like that. It's uh, it's not good. The Lion A got off the Schneid and Domi got off the Schneid. Anyways, I also had the under on that game, so we didn't do very well on that one. Had the under on this game too, and it was looking like under all game. And then finally they started scoring a little bit at the end of the third. But we had the Maple Leafs, so it was pretty much a wash. We had the Maple Leafs ML. And this game, forget about it. I had Lightning, PL, and the under and everything. Just totally trashed that game. Only when I trashed, though. Uh, I had Blackhawks first. I had the Blackhawks over the Stars uh, and the under here. So that was a wash. And I nailed this one. We had the Flames under and the Flames ML. Nice play. Overall, we were up for the night. Betting on every single one. If we're betting my max plays, we're up about four or five units. Would have hit a parlay if I didn't add Tampa to the end of it. We would have hit a crazy parlay because we had Penguins, Penguins PL. Uh, what did we have? Penguins PL, Carolina PL. Oh, no, it's right. We took the or the Rangers ML on that one. So we didn't come close to our big super parlor, but um, we did well for the night. So let's look at our picks from for tomorrow, shall we? Go over the reasons why we're picking them and all that sort of thing like that. Some people, they just want to come in, hear your picks, and that's it. That's it. That's fine. You can do that from now on because I'll put them up there. I don't care. However you like it, I'll give it to you. That's what she said. Okay. Uh, Arizona versus Minnesota. I am going to take the wild ML and over five and a half. And the reason why is Minnesota just seems to score a lot. Ranta played out of his head the last game. Uh, what is it? Against Colorado. Colorado's been snake bit lately, though. I think if Minnesota plays, outplays Arizona like the, like Colorado did, and there's a very good chance of that because Minnesota is absolutely smoking it this year. They're going to score more than Colorado did. did excuse me. Uh, Minnesota will probably have Kakinen in. That is the only reason why I'm not going to go heavy on the over here. Kakinen has been amazing. It's very possible Arizona can't score enough to make this over. So I may change this tomorrow, but Minnesota just plays over every game, even if it doesn't make sense. Every time I've, there's been one or two times I went under on Minnesota and it's burnt me. Uh, and only, and um, I think my over is only missed once all year. So over is usually the best play for Minnesota this year. They are playing creative, amazing, high tempo, Hockey, crushing it, playing very confident. Okay, Vegas versus St. Louis. Um,
uh, St. Vegas is not going to have, it's going to have to put Groshnik in. Flurry is on COVID watch, apparently. We don't know how long that's going to be. And Laner is still injured. St. Louis is going to have the newly signed Bennington in that, I believe. Let's go to our week to week here. Uh, it's going to be a back to back. So, huh. Vegas could decide to put their backup in here. And I always forget his name. I'm not even going to freaking try. I don't know why I always forget his name. But they could decide to put his backup in here. In which case, I got to go over all day. But with Groshnik, is it with, no, it's not Groshnik, it's Dansk. Sorry, Oscar Dansk. If Oscar Dansk is in at all, this should be over. What are they giving you for a total on the over here? Five and a half, yeah, over all day, all day. So we're going over, and either way, either way, even if Bennington is in net, we're going to go over. Uh, if they put their backup in, who, in, who has been playing much better lately, and I don't know why I can't remember his name every time. You ever have that? Or just like for some reason there's one person that you can never remember their name? Uh or whatever, yeah. Huso, Ville Huso. Look at that, it came to me just like that. Ville Huso is it. Um, as of right now, I'm going to take, what's Vegas played? Vegas is played on the road. Is this, are they on the road here? Yeah, they are. On the road, I'm going to take St. Louis at home, tentatively speaking. No, wait, I said I was going to take Vegas. I'm taking Vegas at home, right? ML, Vegas ML. Oscar Dansk in Vegas ML and over five and a half. That, as you can tell, that can change. That's why the people that come in and say, oh, look, they write all down the, the, the first ones that I do. They do can take that, go with it. But it this is a work in progress. Capping. This is the night before, so things can change the very next day. This gives you basically my early picks. Uh, my next, for my next one, for the next game, we got uh, Los Angeles versus Colorado. Los Angeles is going to have to play Groshnik here. And that is because... Pedersen is injured now, too. They are, they're down to their third-string goaltender. Uh, I got to go with Colorado here, and I'm going. it's an over type of day. I'm going back to the over. Grubauer can be leaky. Los Angeles plays a very aggressive game. What are they week to week? By the way, this is TSN's uh, weekly schedule. L.A., L.A., Colorado. Why did I go down? Uh, Colorado. Okay, Colorado. Playing Los Angeles at home. Los Angeles has played on the road for a long time. i got to take Colorado here. I'm going to take Colorado and the over with McKinnon in. Uh, Colorado is also short a couple defensemen uh, in McCarr and Byram. And they've been playing a lot of defensemen that normally don't play higher up in the lineup. So they're going to be a little leaky on their defense too. The over seems like a really good play here. Really good play. Even though I just said Colorado has not been scoring all that much, uh, like as they usually do, I imagine they're going to get out of that overtime. McKinnon is back. And they're going against a third-string goaltender. I just have no choice but to go over on that play. Uh, uh, Edmonton, Ottawa. This Edmonton has been the most voodoo team. They're my team, too. When they almost didn't beat Ottawa 3-2, Ottawa was coming off a back-to-back. -back and uh, they Edmonton should have crushed them. Two days later, after Ottawa gets some rest, plays what is supposed to be their better goaltender, Murray, Edmonton crushes them 7-1. So I think it's going to be 
I think this is not going to be an over. I, I'm going to go back to the under on this game. I don't know who the Ottawa is going to put in net yet. Um, oh, wait, a Corpus Allo's in. Can I go under here? No. Okay, we're going to go over because I don't know. If they go, it depends. If it's Smith, we're going to go under. If it's Corpus Allo, we're going to go over. Corpus Allo, ever since he did his long stretch with Smith being injured, it just seems like he's mailed it in. His body's too sore to play. I don't know what it is, but he hasn't. he's looked terrible. Ottawa should be a little more rested here. Uh, they pro they aren't going to win though. They it, uh, White got injured, and Dzingo got injured last game, so they're going to be playing guys that normally don't play in the NHL. They don't have a very deep organization at the time right now. I don't know exactly who those guys are going to be. We'll find out tomorrow. I'm doubtful that's going to move the meter too much for me. I'm going to take Edmonton. In reg, for sure. Possibly PL. Anaheim versus San Jose. This one is really tough. Anaheim has been playing with jam, but they're so injured on their D-line. San Jose, they've lost Lindholm and they've lost Manson. Uh, they've got uh, a, a bunch of guys playing there that uh, Mahura is one that really shouldn't be in the NHL, honestly. And Gibson looks like he's getting tired. They may go with Miller here. Uh, San Jose's goaltending has been meh. Jones has been okay, but Dubnik has been horrible. If Dubnik's in, I'm over all day. I may be over anyways here. Anaheim's been going over a lot. Uh, they've been scoring a lot, which is really weird. And San Jose has no defense whatsoever. So, yeah, let's go over five and a half. And I'm going to take the Sharks right now. Uh, why did I take the Sharks? I think it was because they had some rest. Yeah, they had a couple days rest and they're playing against Anaheim here. So that's why. Just taking the Sharks because they have more rest. Wouldn't put a lot of money on this one. It's two of the bottom feeders in that division. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42%. And I haven't had – you tell me what you got down there. Tell me what your plays are. Uh, just uh, we can banter back and forth, learn from each other. If you're liking this fine programming, hit the subscribe and the bell. I'll send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace directly to your door by uh, Perlocopter to by Hernandez or Melissa. And uh, you can just wear that anywhere, anywhere. You can wear that in the shower if you want. I do. Do it all the time. So, yeah, I'll give you one of those. And uh, so, yeah, people are subscribing, and that's fun. And thanks for all the new Patreon members. I love you because I do not bet on games. I, uh, for some reason, as soon as I even put a minuscule little bet on games, all my picks go out the window, and I don't know why. So I did this to be able to give people great a service, I would hope. And to make a little scratch of myself so I can keep on doing this. So thanks. That's my full 42. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.